Bosnia-Herzegovina will head to the polls on Sunday, and the vote could potentially trigger the worst political crisis since its civil war three decades ago. Serb leader Milorad Dodik is running to become president of the semi-autonomous region of the Serb Republic, a region that he is trying to make independent. The politician is also a strong supporter of Russian President Vladimir Putin. As for our political relations with Bosnia and Herzegovina, the Russian position is well known. It's exclusively related to supporting the text of the Dayton Agreement. The West has tried to dismantle the Dayton Agreement to the point that it remains on the sidelines. On the other hand, Russia remained committed to the agreement, and that's why Russia is an undoubted ally that I respect, and I also respect President Putin. The nationalist leader also supports the Russian referendums in eastern Ukraine, which has been internationally condemned as a sham. He argues that they could set a precedent for his own succession goals. It suits me to legalize the referendum as a way of deciding the status of the Serb Republic, and I have been saying this for years. But that does not change our relations with Serbia. We have excellent relations on all other matters. NATO and the European Union have increased their presence in the region. The bloc has doubled the number of its peacekeepers in Bosnia in fear that instability caused by Russia and Ukraine could spread.